Michigan's former governor is stepping back into the political arena to pump new life into the Republican Party in the state. Rick Snyder is on a mission to flip the Michigan State House to Republican control. Mar McDonald is live downtown with a story. Mar, he says he's all in on raising money for State House Republicans, and he's got a message for them. Kimberly, let me tell you something. This just got very interesting. So 2022, the Michigan GOP had a disastrous election cycle. They lost all the top ticket races. They lost control of the House and the Senate. Now, former Governor Snyder is back, and he says that he knows how they're going to make it, and he's got some advice. Take a look. He's the antithesis of the MAGA Republican. During Snyder's tenure, he got pushback from his own party because they found him to be not conservative enough. Now he and William Parfit, a businessman and philanthropist, are on a mission to raise money to put the Michigan House back in Republican hands. Look at all the laws that have passed in the first uh, part of this year. But right to work would be at the top of the list. I'll give you another illustration with educational accountability. Snyder has been telling anyone who will listen repealing right to work diminishes Michigan's prospects economically. Getting that state education dashboard up with clear grades on schools was another hallmark of his time as governor. But he's made his distaste for MAGA well known. How then does he raise cash for a caucus which has a substantial element of it? I've had good conversations with uh, Representative Hall and a number of the caucus members, and I believe they're, they are really focused in on setting a positive tone and a future for Michigan. Without Snyder and Parfit stepping up, it's unlikely the GOP donor base would consider giving. This changes everything, and his decision to return to the arena comes with a caveat. I told people, we should just stay out of everything else. Stay out of the presidential election because that's very divisive. Stay out of all the party operational stuff and organizational stuff. It's a simple task. Back here live to put this into context for you. What is the current makeup of the Michigan House? 56 Democrats to 54 Republicans. We're live downtown tonight. I'm Mara McDonald, local four. All right, stay tuned to see if his efforts help. Mara, we appreciate it.